All right, here we are, back on the InfoWars. Somali migrant accused of strangulating Prego girlfriend because his mother wouldn't accept white non-Muslim partner. Yeah, I could see that, especially the non-Muslim part. Well, let's get into it. A Somali migrant, well, he yeeted a citizen of Sweden, so I would say invader, but anyway, moving on, is due to stand trial in Sweden next week for the yeeting of his pregnant girlfriend. He is suspected of strangulating to yeet to hide from his family the fact that he was in a relationship with a non-Muslim, non-Somali woman. Okay, it kind of reminds me of that video I watched a while back of that Arab guy trying to break into his ex-girlfriend's apartment, or no, his ex-girlfriend's friend's apartment because she dumped him. But this is a whole other level, I suppose. Mohammed Dinamin Abrahim, Abrahim, 21, was arrested in Oroborn on May 2nd last year after his girlfriend, 20-year-old Saga, was found yeeted in her apartment. She had yeeted from asphyxiation and had been seven months prego pregnant with Abrahim's child. Part of me wants to say that's sad, but the other part of me just looks at this case and all the other cases that are similar to it and just goes, you can't feel bad for everybody, especially when they make decisions like that. I believe the mer yeet ing took place in the context of an honor yeeting because the man wanted to preserve or restore his honor. If he cared so much about his honor, why did he get with this woman in the first place? He wa he obviously wasn't thinking about his honor or his family's honor. By yeeting the woman who was carrying his child, said public prosecutor Elizabeth Anderson. Elizabeth, wow, that's a woman, and she's actually, what, defending him? It sounds like it, because she's talking about how he wanted to preserve his and his family's honor. So, I think so. Anderson said in a statement to journalists shortly after the arrest. The suspect has been in pre-trial detention for 11 months while police officers conducted their investigations into the Yeeting, yeeting, can't say the M word. An examination of text messages on Abraham's phone revealed the disgust his Somali mother also living in Sw Oh, she's also living in Sweden. So she has such a disgust for white women and white people in general, most likely, but she's living in a white country. Yeah, go figure. Take the bus or stay with your loved one. Don't come home. I am no longer your mother. I am a Muslim and Somali. Hey, you know what? If you love Muslim and Somali so much, go back to Muslim or Somalia. Just my opinion. One message from his mother read, after her car, often used by Abraham, was spotted outside Sega's address. I am also Muslim and Somali, and I do not go home to a white person, Abraham replied, denying the relationship with Saga, a Swedish woman of, wait, Thai origin? Huh? So, if she has Thai origin, then she's not a native Swede. But Saga is, if I'm not mistaken, let me Google that. So, here's what I found on Google. This Scandinavian girl's name means seeing one, or prophet, and is rooted in Norse mythology. According to Old Norse legend, Saga was the goddess of history, prophecy, and storytelling. Despite its ancient roots, Saga's popularity lives on today, particularly in Sweden. So, she's not a native Swede, because she has Thai origin. So, I'm just hypothesizing here. Did her father, well, I mean, was her father a passport bro? Did he go to Thailand, meet a Thai wom woman, marry her, and bring her back to Sweden, and then had a daughter? I could see that happening, because Thai women are more submissive than Western women. Anyway, let's continue. 
In another row over the relationship, the suspect vowed to return to Somalia, good, with his mother to make amends for upsetting her. Good, good, good. Whatever you decide, I follow, Mom, he wrote. Simp. So let me get this straight. He got with a woman. His mother, a woman, did not like said woman. He yeeted her for his mom. Well, damn, that's sympathy in the second degree. Following the indictment, Anderson said it was the prosecution's case that the yeeting was in fact an honor yeeting to save Abraham the ignominy of revealing the truth about Saga's pregnancy to his family. So, they're trying to show him leniency by saying, Oh, well, you know, he's just thinking about his family's honor. We have to be gentle with him now. Instead of saying, Hey, wait a minute. Why didn't you think of your family's honor before you got with this woman? But hey, that's just my opinion. He has tried to keep the relationship a secret. The suspect's family did not accept that he was with a white girl, and believed he had been exposed to strong emotional influences. Yeah? He seems pretty emotionally attached to his mommy, and also emotions of his western girlfriend. But see, they're talking about how he was exposed to strong emotional influences. That's how you know the west is controlled by women, because women predominantly are controlled by emotions. Further communications found between the suspect and his victim on the night before the mur ye yeeting revealed how Abraham had agreed to tell his family about the relationship. Feels like I can almost feel my heartbeat all the way down to my stomach. Wally. Wall? Well, whatever. He sent to Saga. Just take it easy. They'll be fine, babe, she replied. So yeah, this woman... She should have realized that this guy was completely struggling with the fact of trying to tell his family that he was with a Western woman. And maybe she should have cut and run and said, you know what, if you're, fa if you're so tied to your family and they don't like the idea of us being together, then maybe we shouldn't be together. But if she'd said that or did that, the end result would have been the same she would have probably got yeeted because she would have besmirched his honor and that of his family. However, over the course of the evening, the prosecution's case said the suspect changed his mind and visited his girlfriend's apartment before yeeting her to death. In a composed message that was never sent, Abraham wrote, Forgive me. I really feel sick from all this. Sorry, but I can barely handle this. I can be there and help if something is needed, but I can't tell my family. The suspect has denied the yeeting, and his mother told police officers she would have no issue with the ethnicity of her son's girlfriend or future children. But they have text messages from the son and the mother, and those texts tell a different story. Or do they not realize that those texts aren't deleted? And they're evidence now? So in other words, this mother's saying, I have no problem with the ethnicity of my son's girlfriend or their future children, but the, her text messages say different. Well, that's it for my thoughts on this case. One of many other cases involving Somalis. Anyway, take care out there in clown world.